Hello, welcome to my channel, Open Heart Healing. My name is Sarah Walsh, and today we're going to do uh, just a quick tarot card reading, tea and tarot, um, for a daily message that's actually a timeless message for whenever somebody finds it. Um, hopefully, um, it'll resonate with them at that time, and then it's a message for them. So, um, it's always my intention that at least one of these messages applies to each person watching this, and thank you for being here with me. Um, I have no makeup on, and look at my hair. And I don't care. Uh, I do care, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do care. I'm. A, I'm very vain. I have a lot of Leo in my chart. It goes with being a Leo. I mean, I'm not a Leo sun, but I'm a Leo rising, and my Mars is in Leo. So anyway, I'm. I'm kind of vain, and it's difficult for me to be on camera without makeup. But I had a couple people tell me that my readings just aren't the same without seeing my face, without specifically seeing my eyes and I know that the holy fire energy comes through my eyes a lot so I'm sure that is probably um what that's all about but uh you know I started I agreed to start doing like the daily these daily shorter reads as long as I didn't have to have my face on camera because I'm like I'm not gonna put makeup on every day I just can't I just <laughs> the 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 older I get and the more time is going by the less I'm able to really play into this matrix and all of the wearing a mask and things like that is, you know, like makeup is a mask and hiding who we are. And anyway, so I bought these new lights <laughs> and I was going to do the video just, I, they were still in the package from when I ordered them from Amazon, which I don't like Amazon, but anyway, um, it's convenient. And anyway, I got these lights from Amazon and they were sitting in the box. I hadn't, still hadn't taken them out of the box. And I sat down to do this reading and I was just gonna try to do it with just my ring light. Like I, that's all I've used up until this point. And I just, without the makeup, I look so bad. <laughs> I, it like motivated me to get these new lights out of the box. So I have these two lights and now the ring light in the middle. So I have three lights on me trying to get better lighting because I have such a weird OCD thing about lighting in the videos. I mean, lighting makes all the difference, good lighting, but I just can't seem to figure out what good lighting is for me here in this room and this time of year and whatever. But um, I don't know, these lights help. They definitely help. Um, I'm just gonna move them a little closer to me. Maybe, I don't know. Also, I was a little emotional earlier today, this morning um, already. I was crying a little bit, so. Uh, I'm hoping I don't get emotional on camera, but if I do, it's okay. Because one of my beautiful subscribers told me that when I get emotional on camera, that it's helping to model to other people to like, it's like giving them codes of like how to deal with emotions or something. Like it was just a very cool, different perspective and way of looking at it. And so it makes me feel a little better about if I start crying <laughs> on camera or getting emotional that maybe that's helping somebody else learn how to deal with emotions. And yeah, the, and my nails are a mess. I'm <laughs> kind of a hot mess, but that's all right. I'm still here. I'm showing up even, even being a hot mess. I'm still showing up to be here with you. And I realized I couldn't figure out how to, I couldn't get this bracelet. I got it. Okay. That was going to bug me. I couldn't get it um, fastened when I first put it on. Cause I just put lotion on my hands and anyway. So, all right. Anyway, sorry, we're supposed to be fast quick reads. Anyway, um, thank you for being here with me. Um, taking this time and, uh, I don't know why, but I'm being guided just to say, everybody, if you feel guided to just put your hand on your heart for a second and take a couple deep breaths into your heart, breathing into your heart. So I guess somebody out there needed that little, that little breather, maybe, maybe it's for me. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this video, you're going to be receiving the Holy Fire energy through me, through the video specifically, probably through my eyes. Um, it comes also through my voice, but uh, apparently the voice just wasn't enough and I have <laughs> my eyes even, whatever. Anyway, whatever, sir. Okay. So let's just get into it. I'm going to pull the cards and then I have a little setup here maybe to, to prop the cards up with, but we'll see if that works. I don't know. 
It's funny, I, I was like, oh, I could maybe see if that, I have a cookbook stand that I've had for years. It's like cast iron, so it's really heavy. And um, anyway, I didn't know, I just recently, last year, about six months ago, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I went, I still have a bunch more to get rid of, but I got rid of a bunch of stuff. And I didn't know if I got rid of that cookbook stand because I hadn't really used it for a long time. And so I was like, I, I need to see if I can find that cookbook stand to see if it'll work for my tarot readings. And I'm looking all over my house. I'm going all over my house going, where, uh, you know, did I get rid of it? I was trying to figure out if I got rid of it. I couldn't find it. I'm looking everywhere I could think of to look. And then I come in this room where I do my readings and here it is sitting right on the table right next to where I do my tarot readings. I don't even know why it's in here. Um, I can't remember what I would have brought it in here for or what I was using it for, but anyway, it was sitting right here where I needed it. And I'm looking over all over my house for it. And it was where I, where I needed it to be all along. So I guess that's a message for somebody out there of like, uh, if you're looking for something, this could be just metaphorical, like looking for inner peace or something like that. Um, yeah, like go in your heart or, or look like right by where you are or something like sometimes things are um, I don't know sometimes we make too much work of things and the, the really the simple answer or the easiest thing is is the right way the whatever <laughs> I don't know okay so here we have the queen of wands looks pretty joyful she's amazed by something coming out of her hand there's like a flame coming out of her hand hmm. and then we have the four of cups <laughs> this card always makes me laugh because she just looks so bored she looks bored she's like sorry I'm just like seeing how the lights are reflecting <laughs> on my teeth. I don't know I don't know, you guys. I give up with this lighting. This is the best. This is what Spirit told me to get, and this is what I got. And I'm like, I'm not sure if I like this lighting either. But anyway, you know what I like? Natural sunlight. That's what I like. <laughs> and that's what I'm missing. I feel kind of like her. Like, this is me just trying to get through the winter. Like, oh, God. Is it spring yet? Can I put my hammock hammock out up outside yet and go sit in it and be out and with the, you know, with the trees, with the green. No, no, we're still winter. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here's the High Priestess. My favorite card. In this deck, This is, I think this is my favorite card in this deck. Or the Ten of Cups. I like that one. It has a big rainbow on it. A big rainbow ribbon. But anyway, I love this card. This is what they have on the box of this deck. The front of the box is this card. It's a good one. Oh, I just, oh, I know. I know what I'm supposed to say with this card. I was, okay. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can get the, um, oh, I also have to show you my tea. This is too many things. Okay, so here's my tea today. Peace, love, miracles. You can see the reflection of the all the lights in. <laughs> the three lights I have blaring on me. It's a little unnerving, but um, this Mug, this reminds me of, um, if any of you, any of you like grew up in the eighties, there was the brand name, the brand Esprit, E-S-P-R-I-T, I think it was or whatever. And it, the E, they would do it like that. At least sometimes, I think. Um, I used to have like Esprit bags. That, those were like my prized possessions when I was in middle school. It's like my backpack was like in a spree bag and I loved it. And this has just given me a lot really like 80s vibes. And then also my sweatshirt I was guided to wear this. I know tie-dye is not 80s, but the pastel -y colors kind of like reminds me of the 80s. And this, anyway, so something about the 80s is significant for somebody. The 80s, um, I don't know. And then a spree, I just realized today when I was, when I got this mug out and I realized that this, I never thought about this when I've used this mug before but that this reminded me of a, the brand Esprit and then I realized that that must mean spirit right in another language I don't I don't know what language <laughs> I don't know what language that is or if that is really what that is but that's what I got was that that means spirit and that's funny that that was like my favorite brand in the 80s anyway 
I grew up very poor, and um, so I didn't get to have, you know, new brand name things um, like some other kids did at school. And um, sometimes I would get a random thing here or there as a gift or something, or I'd get hand-me-downs from my older cousins or something like that. And it was always like a big deal for me. Like when I was young, it was like a status thing, you know, like of like, oh God, I am gonna get emotional. I apologize if this makes anybody uncomfortable. It kind of makes me uncomfortable, but I've had a lot of childhood stuff coming up lately. That's what I'm working on. There's, I'm supposed to also tell you that, that right now, if you're, today is January 10th, 2022. And again, these messages are timeless, but if you're watching this around this time, and if you're having any like, any of you like that, childhood trauma coming up or wounding like it's stuff you thought you've dealt with or and you thought you were done with it or you just didn't even like think about it or anymore and you thought it was it was in the past and, and you were pat and that you were past it um I'm so sorry you know that there's a lot of people who are going through this right now and spirit told me that we're um it's like we're in a washing machine and we're in the spin cycle right you know at the end of the spin cycle where it just goes around, keeps going round and round and round really, really fast and to spin out every last drop of water that it can. And Spirit told me that that's what we're going through right now. Um, we're all in the spin cycle and all of our, all of our residual, any last bit of trauma or wounding or baggage or anything that's in, still inside of us, inside of our heart is being um, spun out. Um, and it's kind of aggressive. It maybe feels a little aggressive or intense because it's it's just preparing us for the, the next level. We're being prepared and we have to get all of that out. So a lot of us are going through some emotional things lately. And um, yeah, so I'm just supposed to uh, let you know about that. If that's what you're experiencing or going through at all, don't worry. You're not alone, you're in good company and spirit is with you and it's okay and it's good. And like, be grateful every time if you have a, if you have to cry to get stuff out or whatever, just be grateful and say, thank you. Thank you that that is out of me now. Thank you for getting that out. And I just feel like it's, you know, it's, it can be, I heard uh, Phil Good say something like shedding layers. You can look at it that way, like you're shedding layers or for me, like I think of it as, like I said, being in the washing machine in the spin cycle or whatever. Um, I just realized it's almost 13 minutes into this video. I haven't even done the cards yet. <laughs> Maybe I don't need the cards anymore. Maybe I just need to get get my tea and turn on the video and just start talking. That's how I do it anyway. But um, yeah, so those there was a lot I had to tell you guys today. And I, I think I got most of it or all of it. So anyway, this is what I got. This is my... My cookbook stand with a scarf tied around it. I thought maybe this would work for prepping up the cards. Now I don't know which way is which. Go here, go here. No. No, you guys can't even see. There, okay. This is bugging me. It needs to be like tacked down or something. See, I'm a little, I do have a little bit of OCD about things. Some things and some things not. Well, that's not bad. All right. You can't see my nice heart though. I guess I can show it to you. I'm supposed to wear this heart. It's a pink opal. It's probably, it's one of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I own. Um, and for a while I lost it because I had worn it out somewhere where I was staying overnight somewhere or something. And then I took it off, you know, and put it in my purse or something. And then it was like in a purse and I didn't know where it was for a, a long time. I was like, where's my pink opal heart? Where's my pink opal heart? I love it. And then um, I couldn't find it for a while. And then finally one day a spirit just gave me the nudge to look for it and tell me where to look for it. And I found it. And I was so like grateful to have it back to be like, like it was here the whole time, but I was like, I was being reunited with it. And I was so sad that it was lost. And I didn't know if I, I didn't know if I had it still or if, it, if I had lost it. And so anyway, it was kind of a big thing for me. <laughs> which I guess my life is pretty good if that's a big deal for me but anyway I was supposed to wear that today the pink opal and this ring is pink opal too and this ring has rose quartz on it and labradorite and I think this is chalcedony anyway 
Not sure why I'm telling you all that, but whatever. So the cards. <laughs> yes, let's get into the cards now, shall we? And my tea is like almost cold now. All right. Oh, the, okay, so this card, um, I know what the message is for this card. I got this download when I was in the bathtub the other day. The last time I took a bath, I got this download, and I said, that's how it started when I said, I was like, give me this, I, I said to Spirit, give me this card in a reading so that I can give this message, and that's when Spirit had told me, like, you can just get the message and then pick out the cards and then give the message that way. Like, I, w I, I don't know if you guys saw, like, I think it was my second Tea and Tarot video that I did. I, I mentioned that I was going to do, like, a tarot in reverse or tarot with a twist and that's what it was but anyway they um I haven't done that yet because <laughs> it's it's easier just to pull the cards on camera and get the messages on camera I just saw 1555 so 555 um anyway it's just easier to otherwise I have to prepare <laughs> at a time and I'm I just don't like doing that I don't like having to like prepare things anymore and anyway but this was the card that I was like, give me this card and I'll get this message. So anyway, they're, they're, it's just kind of a joke with me and Spirit that they, I guess, <laughs> they did give me this card so I could give the message. So what I, what I got was that when you open your heart, when you learn how to open the key, okay, my channel and my business is called Open Heart Healing. And that's for a reason. It's not just a nice pretty name or whatever. It's because when I learned how to open my heart chakra, that is when I really, really learned how to started to tap into my intuition and really started to become psychic and stuff like that was the key and I realized there was something about the heart and then I was also given you know that the heart is a portal that connects you to everything that exists and that it's actually a toroidal field a torus um so it's like a ball but it's like a, a infinity symbol but it's a three to, um 360 degrees you know so it's like a ball it's like a sphere and um, anyway, the middle is your heart is the zero point. And it was also told that the zero point is God. <laughs> so that's how you connect to God in your heart. It's the zero point. Anyway, that's not the message. The message is, well, that was a tangent message, I guess, with that. The message is when you learn how to open your heart, when you open your heart up, it creates a vacuum. And that's how, like, you can, you can, it, it'll suck the energy down from above in through your crown. And it also, like, sucks the energy from the earth down from your root. And they meet in the heart. So, so when you open your heart, it creates this vacuum that starts moving the energy. And the energy gets sucked in from the top and sucked in from the bottom into your heart. And it's this toroidal field that's like this sphere that is like a figure eight, like infinity symbol. Anyway, it all meets in the middle in your heart, in the zero point. And um, so that's how you can start getting like all the downloads and stuff. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I was like, wow. The things that Spirit tells me are just mind-blowing. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. And, um, and I guess they tell me that these things so that I can share it with you. So at least one person who is hearing this message and seeing this video, that's going to be meaningful to them or profound or whatever. So uh, that's the message from that card for sure. And I'd just like to say thank you to Spirit for giving me this card today so I could <laughs> so I could deliver that message. Today was the day to do that, I guess. Um, all right, let's see what else. Let me get my tea. I don't have a lot of room here now. Yeah. This middle card, this this lady here, she's just I'm just feeling that boredom, that dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction with the way things are and with her life, with the world. Um, I'm really relating to that card today and lately. Um, 2022 has been a really crazy, intense, energetically time for me and for many others I know, but um, I started, I was guided to start fasting before New Year's. So I went into this New Year fasting and I was like flying high and then um, I stopped fasting, but I was still flying high and then I had my birthday and it was really great. My birthday was really great. And I mean, 
it wasn't really anything special but I made two videos YouTube videos here and um, went out to eat with my boys and had a really good meal when we went out to eat and it was just like you know it was a lovely birthday and I was feeling really high up and really great and amazing and then boom something happened and I got like sucked way down low so I went from a really high high to a really low low and I've already been told before by spirit that that's what happens like when you experience whatever highs you experience you have to experience the opposite low um so in order to have really high highs you have to have really low lows also but I mean I think that's just for this where we are now or where we have been and I don't think where we're going that's going to have to be the case necessarily because I think we'll be able to be more in the zero point but anyway I just had been really high and then I went really low and it was like terrible. I had a couple, a day or two that was just really rough and emotional and purging and all the stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then ever since then, I've kind of leveled out, but I'm kind of like, I'm just like her. No, I'm going to like, yeah, you know, I'm here. I'm still here. <laughs> and why am I still here? Why? As um, some of you know, if you've been with me for a while, um, that I got COVID in the uh, very end of August, um, into the first week, the last week of August and the first week of September, because it was two weeks long that I had it. And well, I mean, I had it longer, like right, the after effects and the symptoms, but for the, the period of being extremely sick and almost dying was two weeks. And it was that time, and uh, anyway, I, I didn't die. I chose to stay. I was given the choice. I could have taken my exit because um, that was a whole thing that I had been warned ahead of time that I was going to be leaving and then told I was going to be dying and then was prepared to die and then thought I was dying and then thought I was going to die and then I chose to stay. And then ever since then, I don't know. Like, I just lately have just started feeling like, why? Why did I? <sighs> this is making me emotional. It's all right, you guys. Nice deep breath into the heart. Okay. It's okay. I'm okay. But I don't know what I'm doing here. Still. I'm just here making these stupid videos. It's okay. Thank you, someone just sending me love, thank you. I can feel it. Anyway, just kind of a rough time. It's a weird, weird energy. The collective energy feels weird and chaotic and and I just, uh, yeah, all, all I do is just, I don't know what I'm doing. Energy work probably still. But anyway. So here we are, just kind of discontent with the way the world is and our lives, maybe, if someone else is feeling the way that I'm feeling. But the message is to hang on because the show is about to begin. <laughs> That's what I just got. Like she, because she's got this, this wand, because this is, she's the queen of wands. Queen of Wands is what? It's an Aries card. Cardinal. A Cardinal Fire. Yeah. <laughs> my brain. My brain is like really shutting down, you guys. Like I, I'm having a hard time surviving in this world anymore. I'm really having a hard time. Like I don't know what to do for an income. I have no even desire for income. But, you know, you need money to live, right? So. And I'm just like, I'm out. Like, I'm check I'm half checked out of here. Anyway. I think it's an Aries card. But I'm, so I'm being guided to say that. But so she's, she's holding up this wand. And it's like a magic wand. 
I don't normally think of wands as a magic wand, but today it is. It's like she's got her magic wand, and then her other in her other hand, she like created this. There's like this flame coming out of her palm, and she's like amazed and like. Her, she looks so joyful and happy, and just amazed that she has created this magic out of thin air in the palm of her hand. So. And that. She's got, so she's got that flame in her palm and the light. And then down below her here on the bottom. Uh, let me show you. See all those little candles? All those little candles. Oh. That's the spirit telling me. These are the people that I'm helping. By agreeing to be here on this stage. <laughs> My unsuccessful YouTube channel. Um, but it doesn't matter. Because Spirit had told me that, like, my energy is not for everybody. I'm... We're all unique individuals. But, like, I'm very weird. And that's great. I love being weird. I wouldn't want to be normal. Anyway, but I'm not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> Cheers. Um, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody can handle... Not only certain people like at a certain vibration can handle my energy and can can hear what I'm saying and and will resonate with the things that I say and, and the energy that I give off. So anyway, Spirit has told me like only, you know, I'm not made for everybody. I'm not made for the world. I'm not made for the masses to be able to hear me and understand me. Only certain people can hear me and understand me. So if you are here with me and if anything I say resonates with you or my energy resonates with you, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being, thank you for being my, my people um, because I don't have that many. And, uh, and that's, I guess this is just the message there is kind of for me, but it must apply to other people as well if, if other people are feeling like this too. Of like, you know, even if you help one person today or in your whole life, if you even helped one person, like it's worthwhile, right? It's, you did something good like no no good deed goes unnoticed I know that's not the saying <laughs> I don't know what the saying is the real saying something about like no good deed goes unpunished or something but I'm getting no good deed goes unnoticed that the um I was told this this was years ago now I was told by spirit that that the angels that there are angels who are, and their only job is to write down all of the things that everybody does. And specifically, like, more like the good things that everybody does. And every good thing that you do, even if not a single other human notices it, that, that heaven is noticing it, that the higher dimensions, they notice it. Nothing goes unnoticed. Nothing goes unseen. God sees everything that happens. So everything you do, good or bad, is being recorded, like written down in your Akashic record or something. I don't know where they write it down. I think that must be what it is. And um, yeah, and the, it'll come back to you. Any, any good that you put out into the world will come back to you, even if it doesn't feel like it or you don't see it right now, or you don't see it right away. That God makes sure that that you get what's coming to you. And it feels good. It doesn't feel like that's like a bad, like, I think if you're watching me, probably not, not one of the bad eggs, probably. So anyway, that's what I got. Just seeing if I get anything else from these cards. This is a very long daily message today, but I guess there was a lot that needed to come through. So if you're still watching, I love you. This, oh, there are, you know, all three of these cards have a woman on them. And so that's reminding me that recently, like it, at the beginning of the year when I was really high up, like the one of the things that was, make, that was making me feel so high up was all of a sudden these women in my life were, were being so, um, were saying such beautiful things to me, such loving things to me. Like people were going out of their way to say really amazing, loving things to me. And I, maybe that was partially because it was my birthday time and like people, some people, I don't know, but it was just very beautiful to have all these women showing me this love and appreciation 
that normally I don't really get that much of. But it was like a lot, it was like, I don't know, like five different women were like going out of their way to express their love to me and their appreciation for me and and to just say beautiful, wonderful things to me. And it was like, and I was, give, I was given the message that like, yeah, the women are, if you're a man watching this, hopefully this doesn't trigger you, but I was told that like the women are, are, are showing the way. The women are showing the way to the new earth of like how to be, of like to have that unconditional love and to go out of our way to, to love and nurture others. Not at our own expense. We put our, you, women especially have the tendency to not, to put their own needs last and to put everyone else's needs first. And they, they do it out of love because we have that nurturing um, innately in us. But we have to take care of ourselves and our own needs first and fill our own cup from the inside by tapping into the divine in our heart first. And then we can be overflowing with love and we can share it with everybody else. But anyway, it, yeah, I was just given the message that the, the women are, are, are leading by example, are showing, showing the way to the new earth through the love and being, you know. So I guess the message is if, if there's somebody and you ha you have some a compliment to give them or something nice you could say to them go out of your way to do it like how long to, how hard is it to send a quick text message or a or a messenger message or anything even a card in the mail it's not you know that's, it's not that hard to do and it can really it can really change someone's entire day it can really help help someone a lot just to hear something nice that sometimes people you know, we, we get so busy in our own lives and stuff, but maybe we just don't think about it. Maybe we think like, oh yeah, I love that person. She's great. I love this or whatever, but you don't think to tell them that. And this message, I guess, is saying like, always take the time to let someone know what they mean to you and how you feel about them or something that you uh, admire about them or appreciate about them because that's how we change the world. That's how we, that's how we bring the new earth in is by doing things like that. The small acts are, can be big things. Small acts of kindness can have a big impact, is what I got. So anyway, this is very long now, and I think that's all the messages I have from these cards and for you today. So thank you for being here. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.